Finally got around to fixing a few things that I've been meant to do for years. I've had these parts laying around, they have just been col collecting dust. I wanted to add mirrors to the three wheelers. I did not record adding to the first one scene. These are some, I think they are called double take mirrors. They use a ram mount. You just have these bolts on there. Uh, this one had way too long bolts to, to actually uh, be able to put the clamp on there and have the mirror connect. It's not really needed, but I find it nice. And if you have material or uh, brush cutter in the trailer behind the three-wheeler, you can usually see that it hasn't jumped around too much just by checking the mirror rather than turning around. So. And one of them had ha have had mirrors for for years, and I've missed it every time I've ridden any of the others. And one of them have very loose grips. It's kind of like the rubber here have expanded over the years, or something came off super easy. Wanted to install some of these foam grips that I have really liked throughout using motorcycles. I have that style of grips on most of my bikes by now. Turned out uh, the handlebars were a little bit on the small side for, for the foam grips, but this is also a trick I've used in the past, uh, especially on the if you want to add heated grips, you add some of the shrink wrap, shrink tubing before the, the heating element or the clutch side. Uh, it will be too cold because the steel handlebars takes away most of the heat if you insulate it before and you can't use electric tape I've tried if that gets hot here you could possibly use the electrical tape or some kind of tape but if you have the heat, heating elements included the, the glue on them goes gooey and uh, so the shrink tubing is a better option ended up putting double layers of uh, shrink tubing, shrink wrap and uh, another tip is use hairspray when you want to slide on the, the grips because uh, it lubricates and then glues itself into place also had these end caps that are nice so it can't slide off but uh, it was a little bit uh, off because of the old grips so I added some big washer stairs to ensure that they couldn't slide off so that's some things I have meant to do for quite some time and never gotten around to until now also found a small fuel leak when we had the carb out earlier uh, this spring getting it up and running I changed the fuel line here because uh, it felt a little old turned out I had kind of measured it based on the filter size and uh, maybe it wasn't the best line for fuel that I found so it uh, started leaking and the filter has kind of a tiny bit bigger connectors than the petcock and the fuel valve and the carb itself so it developed a leak but I had some line that was more suitable for the other connections and needed a bit of force to fit onto the fuel filter it's actually not really a fuel filter it's more of a uh, the mesh in there it's not a super uh, fine filter but it's probably good enough for this application stops chunks of sand and leaves and such at least so that's a short little update on the three wheeler been mainly using the brush cutters when it comes to the forest lately so a little bit of, about that in the next video